Hi everyone, welcome to tonight's stream. Tonight we're going to be looking at Aeon. Um, it's been out for quite some time. Um, it's got a good team behind it. So let's dive in, see how to mine it. So Aeon's been around for quite some time, um, this is their website, um, I know a, one of the people that work for Aeon um, and that's Yashnik, um, he's up in Canada, um, quite far away from me, So, but he's been around for quite some time, he's been there since the Open Application Network or Aeon um, started um, he's quite good he's quite knowledgeable so Aeon um, is an open apps platform basically you build apps and you put them on the platform um, so you can keep them well safe but um, you enable them not to be tamper proofed um, you have crowdsource funding for it um, cross platform for it as well um, I'm not really going into it but basically you build apps you put them on the platform and they they stay secure they stay safe no one else can tamper with them so and that's basically what it does so how to mine Aeon um, you will need first of all you will need a wallop I have the Aeon desktop wallet installed um, so you click on whichever one you have Windows, Apple or Linux you then install it onto wherever you're installing it as you can see they've built it up already I have mine already there so you're going to need a an address to receive your payments when you've um, got your miner so let's have a look at the miner um, but the wallet you just unpack you type in username and password you save your keys and then to a safe place you write them down or you um, back them up to a um, hard disk like I have I've got a two terabyte hard disk that I have for for all my wallets so mine's backed up to that um, and I have all my keys on a separate hard disk again a one terabyte hard disk separate to my wallets and they're all offline so they're all removable hard disks so that's how I keep mine safe so the open application so so let's now move on to the miner the miner you'll need is lol miner because we're using AMD we I don't have any Nvidia graphics cards so I use lol miner um, which works quite fine for this application so and what you'll do is you'll install this to um, wherever um, for me I have it in my ETH Claymore's wallet under LOL Miner Aeon um, so you'll just unzip it 
to a location, open it up, and you'll see that I've already made a bat file for this. Click on edit. Now, don't worry about writing any of these bat files or anything down. I'll have them in the description after the show. Um, so I'll have it all there. So you'll create your bat file, which is this here. So first you'll need to put your coin, which is Aeon. Your pool, which there are several. I use the Aeon dot, aeonpool.tech, quite a good pool. Um, it does take a while for you to show up on this. Um, probably about five minutes it took me last time I tr had a go at it so be patient you will show up on the network so yeah so you create your bat bat form um, for me because I'm in the EU I've gone with EU aeonpool.tech now the last bit is your port number so that bit's very important now there are a few different locations on this I can't remember where they are um, connect there so connection as you can see 222 for small rigs one GPU plus so for normal three GPU plus rigs you put three 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 uh, four 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 for big miners and multi-rig proxy FB PGAs so they're all on here as well so you've got different regions you've got the global which is auto select sort of select your location um, You've got North America pool, the EU pool, I just put the EU, EU pool straight in, um, and the Asia pool, so which is in Singapore. So you just pick any one of those, you pick um, what your miner is, and then you just... Um, Go back, put it into low Miner. So for me it's 222, I've only got two cards in my PC. Now your username is your wallet address. So you go across here, you click on receive. You'll see that there corresponds with that there now your rigged identifier which is what identifies you on the pool I just put Mick um, just so I can pull the Mickey out of people so when you've done all that you'll just click on over here save as for all for all intention purposes we're going to put one after Aon and then dot BAT you have to save it as a BAT file or else all you're doing is putting in a text file so BAT tells it it's a batch file so now that's saved if you go back to your wallet now you'll see mine aon dot mine aon one there so you double click on that the miner will pull up and then you can close everything else so the mine is slowly starting once you start receiving shares, 
you'll start showing up on the pool We're accepting shares already. It's quite, quite quick on Aon to start accepting shares. Um, I did a test on here the other day to see what it was like. And give it about five minutes and you'll it'll either start loading by itself into the pool or um, just click on load my wallet data and it'll pull up but it's that simple to do to mine Aon now it's not one of the top coins to mine at the moment it's down a bit um, price wise I um, can't remember off the top of my head um, what it is so we'll go over to here and when this loads Everything's running a bit slow to, today for me. So Aeon's eight cents a coin at present. So it's not not too bad a price. It's been around for quite some time. Um, it's got a good team backing it. Um, lots of knowledge, lots of good knowledge base in there. So it's worth the time to mine even if you just hodl till the price on the coins goes through the roof so yeah it's not a bad coin to mine um, you can do staking as well on here I think you can do that through the wallet as well I can't remember um, You can't do it through the wallet so you must be able to do it through the through the pool so yeah but there you go I'm starting to show up now it'll take a while for it to come up but as you can see I've got pending shares already. I mined for about half an hour on here with both both my miners, my rigs actually doing solo mining on Ravencoin at the moment. Um, but both together was getting around about 360 mega. Uh, is it 360 mega hash or 360 souls? I can't remember. Um, on here I think it's 360 souls my hash rate um, so it's not too bad not too good either but not too bad and you get plenty of shares and it doesn't take long to build your hash rate up on here um, so yeah it's doing quite well
so 89 soles on one GPU, 62 on the other, 151 soles at present. That's because I'm also um, streaming, so it's taking time. Hey Spongy, how you going? What's news? Oh, and I've, I'm trying to mine enough at the moment so I can replace this monitor because it's doing that all the time. It just goes white screen and goes all crackly. So I've got to replace that. That was after my power supply blew. Um, but I still have to use it for for my live streams. So at present we're getting there you go. Minor hash rate two hundred and fifty one souls second and we're up to 69.814 K shares so we're doing all right and we've got a pending balance of 0.309 um, so that's 0.3 of a coin and you can see we, we are showing up on the pool So one rig, minor the name, your hash rate and share rate, 0.16 shares. Uh, sorry, one one six souls a second, which isn't too bad. Considering that um, I'm actually. actually streaming as well as uh, mining so spongy how you, how you been doing seeing any well I do see the chat but no one's typing or is spongy lurking again in the background So I do have a YouTube channel as well that I'll post this on um, at some time during the week. So if you'd like to look me up over there as well, um, there will be a link to my YouTube in the description. Um, please like, share, um, subscribe to my YouTube. It helps, helps my stream grow. Um, And same over here on Twitch. But as you can see, we're slowly climbing up there. Um, panning balance is still the same, but we've got more shares. We're down to 194.265. Sol's a second now. So it's working quite nicely and this is with two RX 470 dual mining edition cards that I'm using 
on here so it does quite well um, the 8 gig variant not the 4 gig variant um, they actually do very well mining most of the algorithms that I've tried so far with them I haven't even skipped a beat um, they have never crashed um, I'm still using the AMD memory tweaker um, and the only things I change on the memory tweaker are the the, uh, the RAS timing of 56 uh, the RFC time the miscellaneous RFC timing of 120 and then the uh, refresh rate is 50 they're the only timings I've had to mess with on here um, as you can see I'm on 1276 at 930 megavolt and 930 millivolts uh, TDP is minus 1 maximum temperature is 85C on here um, as you can see I run it at 2200 memory clock um, so yeah it's quite smooth it runs without a problem now both my cards are, are the dual mining version not the other mining version um, so yeah they they do really really well um, mining most algorithms they haven't skipped a beat um, on my uh, mining rig itself I've got two um, two RX 550s and on ETC hash they get about 14 mega hash um, and one at RX 470 on there as well so I've got three cards on my mining rig um, and they they do reasonably well um, mining so yeah and um, before the Thanos up upgrade on um, on ETC I was solo mining um, and scored six blocks uh, two blocks a week so I, I was happy with that for the three weeks that I was um, mining solo on there and now it's just too difficult it's blown out with my um, hash rate which is which is 126 mega hash on ETC and that you can see Ravencoin 3 weeks 2 days and 5 hours but Ethereum Classic 1 week 6 days I was getting um, I was down to four, 4 days 2 hours or something but I was getting a block every every 3 days without fail so that wasn't too bad for the three weeks I was mining it and yeah now just profitability has gone out the window um, so I'm solo mining Ravencoin um, I get um, Encore Power um, and I find it it says 46 on here because I use this for my ETH hash algorithm more so than the, for my um, other algorithms so I actually get fifth, fifth, between 50 and 60 mega hash on core power which isn't too bad for the five cards altogether um, so yeah 
Um, I'm still building a Discord, by the way. Um, it's not completed yet, so I'm trying my best to get that up and running. <laughs> um, but at, at present, Yeah, so as you can see, we're up to 0.336. I'm still getting lots of shares. So that's that's A on anyway. Um, So we'll leave this run for about another 10 minutes and see how, we, how we're doing share-wise, 141.74 So our share, share rate's building quite nicely um, and they're our pending shares so so the pool hasn't found a block yet so it's waiting to find a block before it pays the, sh pays the pending shares then they've got a mature which is I think a hundred um, confirmations which doesn't take long if you look at the rate the pool runs it goes really fast compared to some of them um, so yeah it's quite quite reasonable to mine even though you're not making really any profit if you go to what to mine um, and you go down down the list Aon you're making 74 cents a day um, which is inaccurate for me um, it's actually slight, slightly more than 74 cents a day um, so where are we uh, Aon no it's saying 380 hashes so it's actually a bit less um, but oh, I've been getting three, 360, 370 souls a second, so that's not bad. Um, but what to mine and two crypto calc the two calculators I use to work out profitability. As you can see, Ethereum's still still the number one coin to mine. Um, nice hash is next. And then um, that's with ETH hash, so that's Ethereum. Um, and then Ravencoin. Even on pool, Ravencoin's still the num number two coin to mine. And Ethereum Classics drop down the list. So you're making about $2.40 a day mining well I'd be making around about two dollars fifty a day mining that and there goes my monitor again um, so yeah it's not too bad to mine Aeon it's just um, not as profitable so my best best 
option here is to mine it for say a day maybe two huddle all the coins that you get from it hold them till till bitcoin's price goes up and the, the altcoins go up with it and then sell sell what you hold turn it to bitcoin but I'm not a financial advisor that's what I do personally um, so do your own research in that um, so yeah um, but that's basically it and this is what I'll have in my um, description after the show so you'll have all that in there and that has also my affiliate link um, because I'm affiliated with Overclockers UK um, great group of people when it loads um, so that's Overclockers UK's website um, they have naval chairs they have all the computer parts you can think of uh, all, all the latest um, when they can get it um, graphics cards it's quite hard to get a graphics card new at the moment um, because um, of supply issues so yeah it's they have motherboards and CPUs both AMD and Intel um, they have virtually everything that I I could think of um, for gaming and for mining in here they have a lot of mining stuff in here as well as so they have quite a bit of mining stuff in here miners there there has a, a fair range as rises um, and that has uh, David include streaming in in the search well what do you know um, but mining wise it, it does have mining stuff um, when I can find it um, it's always so hard to get get stuff that you want um, I think they need to refine their search f a bit better um, but most, most of the stuff they have um, you'll find in here um, including motherboards for mining um, just got to find all their mining stuff so I can show you Usually they have two or three pages of it. So 
so yeah anyway um, now my um, mining rig only has two PCIe PCIe slots so I've got a quad mining um, adapter for that so I can put five cards on at the moment um, but I could I can put eight cards on my rig using the two if I buy another one of these um, I can put another four cards on my uh, mining rig so all up I can put eight cards on, on my mining rig without a problem in the world um, and uh, uh, quad mining ad adapters are really really good I've had no issues with it whatsoever um, they are really really good um, so if you want to build a rig and you haven't got much um, um, or even expand a rig uh, and you haven't got many PCIe slots on the motherboard you could use these they work really effectively and really well so yeah um, but that's overclockers UK um, back to Aon pool see how we're going we're getting there slowly we're down to 135.1 solves but I expect that because I'm streaming um, so yeah when when you come to aonpool.tech you just put your wallet address in there and then after a couple of minutes click load my da wallet data and that'll pull everything up um, but as you can see still pulling quite a few shares using lol miner um, so we're up to 128k share wise and we're jumping up and down because as you know when you're mining that um, things the algorithms not um, a specific length it changes length and frequency so you can see that your hash rate will jump up and down all the time um, so so if you're expecting your rig to stay your graph to stay level all the time as as you're mining um, with your hash rate it doesn't it goes up and down um, but anyway that's the show for tonight week and I shall see you again on Friday with a bit of luck and I thank you for joining have a good week and I'll catch you later bye for now